Welcome to Yanis VoiceOver. I'm extremely excited about my latest project because Skyrim happens to be one of my all-time favorite games. So, after I finished designing the artwork in Photoshop, I printed it out and got ready to start the rough carving process. I carefully cut it to the precise dimensions I wanted and I attached it onto my mug. Right here, I'm actually doing what I like to call border cuts, which helps me determine the exact areas where I need to remove the excess material. Both the turning process and these border cuts took up practically my entire day. Moving on to the second day, it was time for me to delve into the intricate details. With a half millimeter cutter, I began the carving process. This particular piece requires tremendous focus and absolute control, even over my breath. The material removal process can be quite time consuming, but thanks to the tools I have, it becomes at least entertaining. Here, I must confess that despite being a technology enthusiast, and I know how to use technology, I forgot to back up some clips and in an effort for more space on my mobile phone, I accidentally deleted them, so not ideal. Allow me to introduce you to Rosa, she is extremely adorable. This season is my favorite. If you decide to take a moment and observe the world around you, you will witness how everything comes alive again. These strawberries though, well, I initially saved them for my sister, but I couldn't resist and I ended up eating them myself instead. I continued by carving the knots. It requires great attention here because if I make a wrong cut, there's no going back to fix it. After removing the excess material and cleaning up the carving, I smoothed it with a 240 grit sandpaper. The sanding process took me quite a few hours. It's quite challenging with pieces like this, you know, but my friends Filippos and Stavros, they kept me company on YouTube playing Roblox. Guys, you're weird. To be honest, I'm not a fan of flat backgrounds. That's why in most of my artworks, I choose to carve some form of texture to make it more intriguing. Welcome to my beautiful balcony. It's a uh, it's quite nice. So I am done for the day. I had a very, very productive day. I finished with carving, I finished with sanding, I finished with basically everything. The, the mug is ready to be painted. Um, tomorrow I will start working on the handle. 
In any case, uh, I think I'm done for the day. The next morning when I woke up, it was raining. Sometimes I just wanted to pause everything and enjoy the sound of rain. Now it's time to create the handle. I decided to make a Viking dragon that breathes fire. It seems to perfectly match the theme of this project. Honestly, this scroll saw has been a lifesaver and has helped me make things that seemed impossible before. After sanding it, I began carving the details and cleaning up the design. With a pencil, I marked where I would start carving, and with a flat head bear, I began making the border cuts. I thought it would be a good idea to give some kind of texture to the handle, as I often do with most handles. I believe this one is my favorite, even though it's quite challenging and time consuming. I finished it off with a few touches. I love having a rustic touch in my mugs. It gives a lovely rustic aesthetic. Finally, I decided to add some intentional marks with my hand saw to give it a more aged and used look. I believe this is an expression of the aging technique. After approximately 40 hours, the piece is ready. I made a beautiful case that suits such a project. Adoni, thank you so much for the order, man. It was a great experience working on this mug. Philippe, thank you so much for the thumbnail, the quality check of the video, and the great ideas you had. You are the best, man. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video I made for you. It was a very challenging process, both in terms of creation and the time required for editing, scripting, and recording the entire process. The next mug is inspired by Skyrim again. It has a great background idea, and the person who ordered it is breathtaking. She's amazing. But I won't reveal anything more. I would be delighted to read your comments. And if you like the content, please don't forget to subscribe to see what's coming next. I wish you love, peace, health, and be creative.